This is a Blender 3D beginner tutorial where I'll be going over the steps on how to make a tube TV fish tank. Select the side face of the cube and extrude it with E. Then again in edit mode, select the main front face of the cube and inset it using I to create the screen of the TV. Extrude the face back and right click subdivide. I'm then going to pull the middle faces forward to create the screen's curvature. I'm then going to inset the other face at the front and resize it along the Y axis using S and Y to widen it a bit. By adding in a cylinder and right clicking shade smooth, I will then select the end face and click Ctrl B to bevel it. In the Modifiers tab, add an Array modifier to evenly distribute duplicates of the object. To create some extra details on the side panel, I'll use Ctrl R to make a loop cut. Before left clicking to select the cut into the object, scroll with the wheel on the mouse to add multiple evenly distributed loop cuts. To smoothen the edges of the TV, select all the outer edges and use Ctrl B to bevel it. Scroll with the wheel on the mouse to add multiple edges to the bevel to adjust its smoothness. Just in edit mode, I'm going to move over this side panel so it's not too close to the outer edge. to readjust the screen by adding more subdivisions to create a smooth curvature. I'm also going to select these inner edges of the screen and bevel them to create a smoother edge. To create the water for the tank and still hold the same shape as the TV, select all the faces of the screen and duplicate it with Shift D. By pressing P and selecting separate by selection, the duplicated face will now become its own object. Then resize and extrude the outer edge of the mesh to fit the shape of the TV. In the shading tab, with a principled BSDF, I'm going to mess around with the color and roughness to get a desired texture.
going to fully increase the transmission for the screen to create a transparent. For the object inside the TV created for the water, I'm going to use a principled volume. Ensure that the node is plugged into the volume of the material output and not the surface. I'm going to lower the density and add a bit of emission for a glow effect. To create the coral, use a cube and delete all of the vertices using X, except for one of them. Then right click and set origin to geometry. Extrude the vertice and in the modifiers tab, first select the skin modifier, then the subdivision surface modifier. This will create an outside shape around the created outline. Then extrude the vertices to create a desired coral shape. By selecting on the vertice and clicking Ctrl A, the thickness can be adjusted. To create an overlay in the tank, select the top surface of the TV and duplicate it with Shift D. Click P and separate by selection. Then use an emission material to create the light. Repeat the process of creating the light to create the sand. Select the bottom face of the TV, duplicate and separate by selection. For the render settings, 
The main settings you want to focus on to reduce render time is changing the device to GPU, increasing the noise threshold, lowering the max samples and lowering the overall max bounces under light paths. Also, under performance, change the tile size to 256. To create the rocks, I use the Rock Generator add-on enabled in the settings. To create the plants, add a curve and adjust it to the desired shape. I then converted it to mesh and added a skin modifier and a subdivision surface modifier. For the fish, I added a cube and added a subdivision surface modifier. I added some loop cuts and scaled it along the axis to make it thinner. I then further adjusted the mesh to resemble a fish. For the tail, extrude the back and scale it down. Extrude it again and scale it up. For the fin, I beveled one of the top edges and extruded it. I then added in arcospheres for the eyes.
before lighting, untick the boxes in ray visibility except for camera so that the background light doesn't affect your own custom lighting setup. I use the 3 point lighting add-on enabled in settings to create a much easier and efficient lighting setup. From here, change the angles, colour and strength of the light to create the desired look. After rendering, this is the final result. Like and subscribe to support the channel for more tutorials.